Welcome, break it. Welcome, everybody, to the 2019 Imagine Showcase. Welcome. Can we hear about the This is the third, second year actually, for the Imagine Showcase. Uh, Imagine is a part of Alive. What is Alive? Alive began in 2017, and it's an effort uh, to feature students' original performance research projects produced across various IAS courses. Pretty much what that means is that it's made up of a few performances, one of those being Open Studio Week. Open Studio Week has been going on for the last Two weeks. weeks. And what's been going on is that performance classes, these dance classes and everybody like that, okay. have been putting on their best performances and within those groups, yeah. they've been handpicking their favorite and you're going to be able to see those tonight. Yes. So, but before that, we need you guys to pull out your phones. So I know you guys all have phones. Pull out your phones. Let me see the phones. Let's see those phones. Let's see the phones. If you don't have a phone, that's okay. But yes. if you have a phone, pull it out. Yes. If you have the app, get on Instagram. Get on Instagram. We need you to go to the search and type in you UW Alive Festival. Take a selfie, post it, tag us. Winner might get something. There might not be a winner. Who knows? <laughs> Without further ado, put your hands together for the 2019 Imagine, Imagine Showcase. Showcase. Separated from our ways, which guide us and unite us and tie us to the sacred. We give thanks and we chant prayers in our ancestors' language.
I was born out of here. In other words, I was born not normal. I was born hard of hearing, but I didn't know it was hard of hearing for the first couple of years of my life. You see, I got my first hearing aid way back when I was in kindergarten. I didn't know they were hearing it. I could pick the color, and I could wear my ear, and I thought they made me look pretty fly. <laughs> now, it was until I made it to second grade when I learned that I was part of her. I was taken out of class for speech therapy, and I always wondered why. And they sat me down, back on the chair, and they broke the knee to me. But, you do know you're hard of hearing, right? And that was when I realized I wasn't normal. Everyone was able to hear fire on, but not me. Everyone was able to hear whisper, but not me. Everyone was able to hear whisper, but not me. I, I was not human. I wanted to be normal. I wanted to be just like everyone else. I wanted to be able to be equal to you. I wanted to be human. Now, all my class members didn't really care much about it, but every time they tried to include me into any activity, there was always that idea in the back of my mind. I'm not equal to you. I cannot be as humane as you. I can't be in the same life as you. And that stuck with me all the way until I made it to fifth grade. Here in fifth grade, we had to pick our own music class. How I want a deaf kid to take music class. You have to choose between choir, band, orchestra. I thought it was band, but I had to. I picked up my trumpet, and I played my first note on the first day of dance. Poorly, I might. Poorly. <laughs> but I played. The very first song I learned on it was Mary Had a Little Lamb, with my classmates. And I played with. Yeah. With I fit in. I was able to play with my own band member. I was able to actually be just as good as my other peers. I fit in. 